Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Crazy Nate, and today I got not one, but two boxes from the Disney Movie Club, and I'm gonna unbox them today. And also, they gave me something for free for being a member, and I decided I don't really want it, so I'm gonna give it to one of you. I'm looking for something funny, something cool, something inspirational. Just say something that excites me enough to pin your comment to the top. Whoever gets pinned wins the prize. What's the prize? <laughs> well, let's open it up and see. First, let's start with the little package. So this is something new, actually. I just noticed that they started doing the cool Disney uh, tape. Fancy, fancy. And then also, it's a little smashed UPS. Um, actually, was it UPS? Parcel Select, US Pope Office. Anywho, yeah, I got banged up a little bit. Hopefully none of the Blu-rays, Blu-rays, Blu-rays. Hopefully none of them are broken inside. Hopefully they padded it enough that they don't break. So they start off with a cool hello. This is like a haul, I guess. Like people do like grocery store hauls or clothing hauls. What do I do? Movie hauls! Okay, so they start off, hello. It's little baby Dory. Welcome to the Disney Movie Club. Welcome, I've been a member for a while. Details, boring, blah, blah, blah. Here's all the movies. Oh, look at this. Look at that. It's Tomorrowland. It's a holographic gold uh, texture of the Disney Movie Club. You can kind of feel it. It says copyright 2015, so this might have been sitting in the warehouse for a while. Doesn't smell old, but yeah, it's clean, it's crisp. It didn't get dented, even though I just banged the box around. So good job, box packaging. Then this is my bill. Then it gives you a book with all the movies they're trying to get you to buy, even though you already bought all of them. More magic here, blah, blah, blah. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. Ooh, oh, this is a code I can't show you. Open for your free offer. So cool, Disney Movie Club, once again, they give you a little perks they didn't tell you you were gonna get. They changed the color of their packing paper. They're doing a lot of changes recently. I only buy from them maybe like once a month. The little packing paper, it's like a bluish, tealish color. It wasn't like that before. Um, I'm buying something I realized I already had on Blu-ray. So I'm trying to, if you're new to the show, welcome, I'm your host, Crazy Nate. I'm trying to get my inventory to go all from DVD to Blu-ray. And as you can tell, here's, here's the Lion King I just bought, still sealed. Then, here's the Lion King I already have. I literally just bought a movie I already have. I need to stay away from the store. I don't know why I do that. I even have an app on my phone to keep track of my inventory so I don't accidentally buy Blu-rays I already have, but <laughs> Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy, a Blu-ray. Then we have Thor, Rancor, Rang, Rang, Neck, Ragnarok, Ragnar, Ragnarok. What's next? Avengers, Marvel Studios. And then Guardians of the Galaxy, uh-oh. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I already have this one on Blu-ray. I'm like 99.99% sure. So that's all for the first little box. Now let's go into the second box, the bigger box, the heavier box. The one thing I will say in full disclosure, $36.73. You better be doing cool fancy stuff like this. $36 for shipping, Amazon gives me free shipping, buddy. That's one of the things about Disney Movie Club I'm not a fan of, not gonna lie. The more movies you buy, the more expensive they make your shipping. It literally adds shipping charges for every stinking movie you buy. I don't know how my Blu-rays break. So yeah, nonetheless, for $37, this sucker could have been shipped overnight, but it wasn't. It took like a week to get here, maybe two weeks. I'll have to go back and look. I'll leave a comment or a pin somewhere. I'll go do the math, find out how long it took to actually get here. Speaking of pins, uh, we have a limited edition certified authentic Tinkerbell. One of my little certified authentic pins. So another cool thing from Disney Movie Club, when you buy these things from Walmart or Target, you don't get the pins. But when you get them from Disney Movie Club, you know. They like to advertise you to try to get you to join. Hello, I already joined. And then they're advertising the lizard. And then more movies you can buy for 99 cents. Two free movies, get rewarded with two free movies. Share the magic with a friend. You're my friend, sharing the magic, join. Okay, next we have, uh-oh, it's DVD. Actually, I don't think this one is out on Blu-ray yet. This is Tarzan 2. I don't think I have this on Blu-ray and if I, don't, I don't think they actually have this released on Blu-ray yet. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, I know you will. <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, Tarzan 2 DVD. Then we have 
the Treasures Edition. This is DVD actually, not Blu-ray. But this is limited editions that they make. You get a cool little seal inside that says your number is such and such and such and such. Hang on, I'll show you one that I already have. So this one's Disney Rarities and if you open it up inside, it has just a normal DVD. It's actually a little bit thicker than your traditional uh, DVD. Where's, where's, where's the DVD? It's, it's thick. This one is thinner than your traditional DVD. So this one's thicker. I think it's like old school or something. I don't know. But then it has uh, Celebrate Shorts, blah, 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 Disney Rarities, Certificate of Authentication. So there's limited copies. My copy is 70,155 of 125. There's only 125,000 of this specific DVD printed out. And if you remember watching my Tarzan, I talked about in the bag. I also talked about in the bag in uh, cars. Um, well, in the bag is in one of these rarities for short comics. Anywho, so this one, I already had that one. This one I just got. It's uh, the Swamp Box, and it's a bunch of old classics from Disney. And it's a cool treasure. Eventually, one day, I would like to collect them all. But these are really expensive. And because they're rarities, this one I bought brand new. Uh, I should have unboxed it because it was brand new sealed and I took the seals off, but there's still sticky stuff from the seals, so I gotta very carefully clean all the sticky stuff off. Uh, but yeah, so this one was like a hundred bucks. Because they're limited edition, people buy them and then they hold them and then resell them for much more than you can buy them from Disneyland. And then I got Oswald. This one's gold tinted. Um, it's the same concept as the little silver one, only with gold, the exclusive Oswald button inside. Next in line we have Never Beast from Tinkerbell Blu-ray. I already have this one in DVD, but I need it in Blu-ray because in Blu-ray they have all sorts of fun things like director's commentaries, behind the scenes, and whatnot that you don't get from DVD. Next, we have a DVD of Cinderella. This one was like on sale for like five dollars and I was like, I know I'm trying to get rid of DVDs, but five dollars? <laughs> And then we got Princess Diaries. My sister has one and I stole one of her copies. Now I can give her copy back because I have my own copy. But yes, I know it's DVD. We're trying to get away from DVD. Uh, then we have Rescuers and Rescuers Down Under. I have this on DVD. Obviously, I even have it on VHS. If you have it on VHS, warning to the parents because there's an inappropriate saying one of them, but that's a whole other story we'll talk about a different day. Also, this is gonna have a ton of Disney movie rewards. And yes, I'm a member of Disney movie rewards. And no, I'm not paid sponsored by them, but I do have a lot of points. And I finally got enough to go on the VIP tour. So hopefully I'll be playing that and I'll show you what I can with that. I don't know what they'll let me film. Anywho, let's get back to the movies. Okay, so we got Hunchback of Notre Dame. Obviously, I already have this one, but I have it on DVD. Now we are gonna have it on Blu-ray. Woo! Next we have uh, Pirate Fairy. Then we have Beauty and the Beast, the Christmas edition. Obviously, I already have the original on Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS, but now we have the Christmas extended version. Then we have Monsters, Inc., which surprisingly enough, Monsters Inc. I do have it in DVD and VHS, obviously. Wait, you don't believe me? Hold on. Bam! That's right, Monsters Inc. Of VHS, old school. And yeah, I even have it rewound. Cool little, cool little background with a bunch of uh, photo duplicates of signatures. It'd be cool if it was the original signatures. Obviously, it's mass printed, but yeah. VHS, I had it on VHS and DVD, but ironically, I didn't have it on Blu-ray, so obviously we had to upgrade Monsters, Inc. to Blu-ray. Now I have it on Blu-ray. Next we have Roger Rabbit, classic. Tab bit inappropriate for our kids, but it's Disney, so you have to have it. Then we have uh, Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2. I never own a Chihuahua. I always feel like they bark a little too much. And if you have Chihuahua 2, you have to get Chihuahua 1. <laughs> they don't call it one, they just call it Beverly Hills Chihuahua. I haven't seen either one of those because I'm not a big Chihuahua fan as much as I love dogs. I know, I'm a dog lover, not a cat lover. Doesn't mean I hate cats, just means I don't love them, okay? But I'm also not a big Chihuahua fan because they bark a lot, but hey, they're a good alarm clock or alarm or door alarm. Um, Zelda doesn't bark at anyone, hardly ever. Very rarely does she do, and when she does, she kind of scares us. Next, we have Holes. I remember reading this book in school, bored, watched the movie in school, awesome. <laughs> Teachers are gonna love me. Anyway, we have National Treasure. Next we have Dick Tracy. I used to have a Dick Tracy watch, lost it. This is currently on sale or something. Recently unlocked out of, I don't know. They've been advertising all over Disney movie called, they're like, buy me. 
buy me. And finally I'm like, fine, I'll buy it. Bed knobs, bedroom sticks. This is like back in the Mary Poppins day when they were first learning how to combine cartoons and live action animation. Kind of a classic. Next we have Tinkerbell. Uh oh, nope, this one's fine. We have Tinkerbell Great Fairy Rescue. We're almost getting to the part of what I'm giving away to you. Then we have National Treasure 2. All these have the little movie rewards, except for Treasure Classics. I'm pretty sure none of them actually have Disney movie rewards because this cool thing was started long before they did Disney movie rewards. I'm pretty sure. Um, next we have a G of Force. Uh, well, Disney created that one. And then we, I know this is a big box, it keeps going. Then we have the Rocketeer. Rocketeer, check it out. This is a, uh, not an animation, it's a movie movie. Next we have the Lone Ranger. My sister did a baller painting of Tonto. In fact, let me go get him and I'll show him off. So I hang this in my living room. My sister painted this pretty amazing, right? There's Tonto on his horse. And then my dad got a custom brand and obviously you can tell I don't dust my house very often. This is so embarrassing. Very proud of her. Now I can give her back her movie because I have my own movie. Yes, I steal my siblings' movies. Who doesn't? And finally, the last thing, which is the only reason why some of you are here, but hey, <laughs> we don't care. This is a 101 Dalmatian a bag. Uh, see if I can open it without like ruining it. Hopefully whoever wins this isn't like, oh, why'd you open it? Anywho. It's got the cool little Disney logo on here, Disney Movie Club, so you know it's not a fake, it's real Disney 101 Dalmatians. I doubt there's 101 Dalmatians on there. It's got a little zipper, and oh, there's a snake! I'm just kidding. There's nothing inside, but there, you can put your pencils in there, you can put your makeup in there if that's what you do. Or, if you're at work, you can hide your candy in there so your boss doesn't get it. Caution! Plastic bags are not a toy. Do not try to eat, swallow, or jump inside plastic bags. You can die. To win this, just leave a cool comment underneath. Whichever comment I think is super awesome, I'll go ahead and pin it to the top. Already include in your comment at whatever your username is on Instagram or Twitter. I don't care which one, just let me know if it's Twitter or Instagram. So that way I can hunt you down and be like, where do I mail this? Woo! It's hot! I gotta add this to my movie collection and I don't know where it's gonna fit because I'm running out of room. That's it, the box is empty. That means the show's over. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed yourself. Let me know which movies you think I shouldn't have got, should have got, already got, whatever. Thanks for watching. If you're gonna join Disney Movie Club, remember that in the link in the description to join to the link. It doesn't cost you anything else. You can get five movies for like a dollar or something cool like that. Do not, do not join Disney Movie Club unless you want to. Don't do it just to give me the two free movies, but hey, getting two free movies is super cool. Anywho, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. Remember, most importantly of all, ladies and gentlemen, let's share a smile. They are contagious. Hey, share a smile. They're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? Whew, that would be outrageous. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.